Cheers everybody, this is Howard Crampton Jr. with uh, another video blog after a long while again. I kind of hesitated recording this video because this is a really important uh, topic. It came up about a month ago and so finally today I figured that I'm just going to come out into my backyard and stand here in my underwear to make it even more uncomfortable and record a video for you. <laughs> okay? So the topic I want to bring up to you is an idea I learned about from Wayne Dyer in his movie The Shift. Called, uh, the movie is called The Shift. The idea is uh, ambition, moving from ambition to meaning, from shift to shift from striving to arriving. Now we're all really ambitious. We all want to get somewhere in life. We all want to accomplish great things, right? But the problem with always doing is that we're never here experiencing. We're never uh, arriving anyway. Never really fully appreciating. Some of you, absolutely, but for the majority of people, and I know this through the lifestyles that they live and the results that they get in life, is that they're always striving to get somewhere that they're not, okay? So on August 10th, uh, it's a Saturday at 11 a.m., I'm putting together a workshop called Discovering Purpose. What is purpose? Well, from Viktor Frankl, the author of Man's Search for Meaning, what he described purpose as is it's a meaning-making process, you know, to help resolve meaninglessness. When we don't think there's really anything to live for, or why am I here, what am I doing all this for, right? Um, having a purpose, when times get really, really hard, that purpose helps pull us through. Okay, so for more information about this workshop, you can go to howardcramptonjr.com. I'm not done yet, um, but you can go to howardcramptonjr.com. You can click on the events tab and you get more information about what this uh, workshop entails. I'm going to actually take you guys through five different exercises on uh, five key points that I feel are necessary to help discover one's purpose. Now, there's no one purpose in life. We all have different purpose depending on what level of consciousness that we're at. Uh, according to Dr. David Hawkins and his map of consciousness, you know, there's a variety of different emotions that we experience. There's different life views that we experience and different views about God, too, whether he's a disdaining or um, angry God or if he's a loving and open, you know, and appreciative God. So we'll discuss these topics. We'll tie it all in together. But the whole purpose of it is to really help you understand you know, the meaning of our lives. It's a context versus content. When you look at the content in your life, the things, the, the physical objects in your life, it's the context that gives meaning to those. So if you have a family, or if you have a business, and you're having a hard time with it, well, you have to look at the context that you're giving meaning to those things. And if the context it comes from a place of uh, lack or fear or striving, Right? You're going to have a, have a hard time with that versus getting to that place of, hey, I've arrived. I have a family. I'm here. Happiness comes through us. You know, we're kind of taught that to always get things, to always achieve. Now, the brain has its own reinforcement system, right? So as we achieve, we feel good. That's our reinforcement. We tell ourselves, yes, we succeeded. We feel good. And we can go talk to people about what we succeeded by. And then we get more reinforcement from them. But the problem with that is that we always have to strive. We always feel like we have to be somewhere that we're not in order to get happiness versus arriving, being here now. You get that? And understanding that happiness comes from within, not from without. That you choose to be happy now, and then when you do achieve those things, those things magnify that happiness. It's even a, a higher quality experience. But you know that you don't need those to be happy. Does that make sense? So the context in which you perceive life is going to give meaning to the things that you have in life or the things that you even want to uh, attain or uh, obtain in life. You got that? So again, go to howardcramptonjr.com. If you want to go to the workshop, I encourage you to call uh, the Keneally Acupuncture and Healing Light Resource Center. The number is 661-252-4103. It's a small place. The last workshop we had, we pretty much sold out. It seats about 20 to 25 people, and we had one gentleman who had to sit just outside the room, but was able to be involved still. So if this sounds like something you really want to get to in your life, Call 661-252-4103 and uh, RSVP, okay? I'm going to end with this quote from Wayne Dyer in his movie, The Shift. He says that we cannot live the afternoon of life according to the program of life's morning. For what was great in the morning will be little in the evening, and what in the morning was true 
at evening will have become a lie. I want you to sit with that. And again, that has to do with the context in which we, we perceive life and the meaning that we give that. You know, the lessons that we learn in the morning might not necessarily be true in the afternoon of our life. You know, the decisions that you made at one point in your life don't, does not necessarily mean that that's the same decision you have to make now. And as you look back at that time in your life and you feel bad about it, well, that has to do with you're not in the same experience as you were then. You had to make completely different decisions back then at one point. Now where you're at, you have to learn how to shift those experiences. Again, from ambition to meaning, from striving to arriving. Okay, I look forward to seeing you at the workshop. Again, this is two Saturdays from now, August 10th, it's Saturday, 11 a.m. Uh, if you have any more questions, send me an email at info at howardcramptonjr.com. If you want more information about the event, you can go to howardcramptonjr.com as well. Or give me a call, 661-524-6093. I look forward to seeing you at the workshop. I look forward to any questions you have. I look forward to serving you. I'm here for you. And I uh, really appreciate your presence, really appreciate your efforts, and look forward to meeting you in person. Talk to you soon. Cheers.